One of the principles of design is repetition. Repetition can be used a lot of different ways in your graphics. It can really help to emphasize something and it also emphasizes your branding. Just using similar elements over and over again can really reinforce your brand. So in this tutorial, I wanted to share with you a cool tool in Canva that allows you to create repeating patterns. So you can do repeats in various different ways, repeating a single object. You can then layer it up repeating several different objects and you can easily create a lot of cool different effects using repetition. So let's dive into Canva and get creating. All right, so let's have a look at making replicating patterns in Canva. Now, repetition is a design principle. Repetition is something that really helps to emphasize something in your design. So if maybe you want to really emphasize a particular image, maybe if you just want to create some sort of movement in there, we can use repetition in various ways in our design. So there's a really handy tool that we can use to do this really simply. So what you want to do is first choose the graphic you want to be able to repeat. So I'm going to use this little bow that I've drawn. Then we're going to go to apps and you want to find this one called replicator. So if you don't see it straight away, you can just go into search and search replicator. So the first thing you want to do is choose and make sure you select the graphic you're going to do and then you want to click replicate. So now it's going to basically give you a little demo here up the top so you can see what it's doing to it. So now we can decide what we want to do. So we've got a few different options. You've got linear, grid, circular and wave. So if you're trying to create more of a repeating pattern, you've got linear and grid is probably the most helpful, but then you've got other creative things you can do depending on what you're trying to achieve. You've got circular and also wave. So these are all really handy for different types of things depending on what you're trying to achieve. So first of all, with linear. So you can basically just make something in a row. So this could be maybe for a border, maybe you're creating some sort of border and you can choose the spacing between it too. But then there's also this option here, slope. So this could be handy if you were trying to create some movement in your design. So if you've got, for example, a picture of someone running and you want to repeat it over and over, you've got that slope to really emphasize that. You've also got here more options where you can do even more with it. So you can also add in the slope. You can also add rotation, size ratio, so it gets bigger, which can be a really cool effect depending on what you're trying to do. So if you sloped it, make it get bigger. It sort of feels like it's moving towards you. So depending what sort of graphic you're using, these can all be handy for various different things. So we've also got spacing between and skew. So there's just so many options there to really create whatever you're trying to do. So now what we do is we just press add to design and as you can see, it plonks it in there. So for this one, we probably want enough space between each there, then add to design. And that we've got just a nice row of bows that are going across and they're all perfectly even. So two, as you can see, if you click on it, you can ungroup. So if you wanted to fix anything, change anything, you can ungroup and individually grab them. But it's a really quick and easy way to do something like that. So that one's a great one for just creating something in a line. So if we also, if we were to get a photo. Let's say we grab something like a shoe. And you can see here in this demo one, you can see the running one, how they've got it sort of growing bigger and bigger too. So it's really handy for lots of different things here. All right, so let's try another graphic. So this time we've got a shoe. We're going to click on replicate. And this time with the more options, we can slope it. And let's make it get bigger. So it really feels like it's stepping up. It's going up, up, up. So that is another cool effect where you actually step things up to really emphasize. So that's another thing where it's really emphasized and it's adding movement into your design. Now, something to keep in mind also is that it's only going to replicate something that is a photo, a graphic or a text element. So if you've got something that is one of those editable graphics within Canva, so something where you can change the colors, those sort of ones, you're going to get this warning. So make sure that if you do that, that you download it and re-upload it as a JPEG or PNG. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right, now let's try one like this. So something like this could be really good for a pattern. So as you can see there, the bows was great for some sort of border, some sort of line. This shoe was great for something where we're emphasizing a graphic. Now what about something where we create more of a pattern? So let's try it. We've got grid. So you could just simply make a grid as you can see. You can change the spacing. 
Then we can also slide, so you can have that sort of grid like that. You can also skew it if you wanted to. And that creates just a really simple repeat pattern. So if we added that to the design, as you can see, that makes a nice repeat pattern there. And you can always repeat it over and over by just making more copies. So that would be a really simple way to make a nice little repeat pattern like that. Now we also have circular, which we can do some interesting things with that too. So we can decide how many in the circle. You can always cut them back. So if you only wanted part of a circle, you do have that option. You can decide how many out, so if maybe it keeps going rather than just one circle. Also the spacing between them. And then you see you can slide it along too, so they're sort of off-centered. And if you wanted to, you could rotate too, which could create a really cool effect like that. This design I think would be better without that. Let me add to design. As you can see, we've created a really cool circular pattern. So that can be cool if you're trying to create something circular. So that can be really great if you're creating anything circular. So any kind of graphic you're using, you could put it in a circle to create a really fun design that way. So that could be used for like a border to go around something, or if you're just trying to emphasize something or create a really beautiful design around something. And then finally, we have a wave. So let's get rid of these ones and find a new graphic to do a wave with. So let's go back to our boat and this time we're gonna do it as a wave. So what we need to do is go, go back Click that one and replicate. Now I have noticed a glitch occasionally. It will do this where it will say there's something wrong with it when there isn't. What you need to do if that happens is click remove from your apps. You sort of need to refresh it if it gets stuck for some reason. So we're gonna put that back in. So because we removed it now, now we're gonna to have to go back to apps and choose it again. And then replicate. Now we can go to wave. And so we can choose how many you want in the wave, how tight you want that wave, how far apart you want them in the wave. So we can choose a really long wave like that or a really more a subtle wave. So the length, as you can see, you've really got a lot of control with this. There's so many things. Now we've got more options. So we've also got size ratios. So you can make them come forward if you wanted to. There's so many options within this, so it actually makes it really easy to create so many different types of patterns and repeats. So look, you can even make a wave like that. So that could be really cool if you're trying to just create a cool pattern within your design. Maybe it's just something as simple as like a funky dot or something, and you've just repeated it cool like that. That could really add a cool element to your design. So this is a really handy tool for creating that repetition in your design in so many different ways. All right, so once you've created your wave, then you add to design. And as you can see, we've created this really cute little wave. So again, that could be a really nice little divider line or just something cute on your page. Maybe you, for Christmas, you could do some cute little lights and they all go along like that. So there's so many different things and opportunities you could use this app for, whether it's to create a repeat pattern, whether it's to create like a circular pattern, a border, a divider, to create some sort of element on your page that has repetition, to emphasize something on your page. There's lots of different things you can use this for. So it's a very handy one. Something to keep in mind if you want to create some sort of repetition in your design and do it in a really quick and simple way that's gonna look professional and neat because it's doing all the work of doing the ratios, doing the sizing, making sure everything's nice and even. So it makes it really simple and easy to create any kind of repetition in your graphics. So give this tool a go. Try and use more repetition in your design to help emphasize things, create a sense of movement in your design and to reinforce your branding. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about branding and graphic design and using Canva, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.